No way. What's up, man? How's it going? It's very well. Very well. You? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Thanks. Uh, you are in uh, Marseille at yeah. the arena photo shoot. Can you tell me a little bit about how that's gone for you so far? Very. So it was my first time shooting for arena. So yeah, I got to know all these people, but it's very fun. Very fun. A lot of, lots of fun. And yeah, uh, nice, nice products. Uh, I got to see and uh, yeah, what, what can I tell you? Uh, lots of fun. It's a big family actually. So, so nice family, uh, Bruno, Florent, Sarah, and uh, yeah, Lydia, um, Popovich, they're all nice people, very fun, uh, shooting with, with them. So yeah. Yeah. Can, can you take us through, um, a day of just, you know, I, I think pe when people think of photo shoots they are like, oh, you just kind of sit around for a couple hours, maybe take a couple of photos, but I think, uh, it's, it's, it's real work, right? They're, they're pretty long days if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Actually, yeah. Actually, yeah because so I always start my, my day with training because yeah, I need to train. So, uh, alone or also Sarah and, and Florent joined me once and yeah, it was pretty hard for them because maybe they're a sprinter, but yeah, it was kind of fun. And uh, yeah, so basically go to, to practice, then yeah, then at nine, ten you start shooting. So basically, and it's it's pretty long and it takes some energy because maybe you, you need to wait your turn, then you need to shoot maybe the first underwater shooting, so videos and. Uh, uh, photos so you you keep uh, doing so the same things many times and then yeah so it's it's nice but uh, maybe yeah it's at the end of the at, at the end of the day you're pretty pretty tired because you you did a lot of photos then there are a lot of um, uh, moments that you you're, you're doing nothing so you're waiting for the turn or you're just sitting in the in the room uh, with the other people, so talking or so, and then, yeah, but it's, I mean, yeah, so it's not like easy, okay, I go for, for a photo, uh, okay, they take, they take me the photo, so I'm done, so it takes quite a lot of time, but uh, it's nice, so you get to model, so. <laughs> <laughs> what more could you ask for, right? <laughs> um... Can you tell me about practicing with with Florana and uh, Sarah? What was that like? Yeah, it was it was nice. I don't know if they liked it, but yeah, <laughs> because it actually it was my practice, so my training, and it was a pretty pretty much aerobic. It was five point five k actually, and yeah, so we did the warm up together, and then the main set came. It was. It wasn't too long. It was eight times 150, 150, and 150 on two minutes, 100 on 120, and no, and 225, sorry, uh, on 40, uh, per, so uh, increasing the speed. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so they had to swim fast. They, they only did six at, at the end because they were, so they had to keep up with the with the with the send up and I don't I don't know if they're used they they are actually not used to uh, such low send ups I mean but it was fun it was very fun we did some sprints together and chain uh, James Gibson was there as well nice so, so we we did together I mean it was it was fun maybe you you saw the the reel from James that he posted days ago and it was about that practice but okay yeah. uh that's that sounds that sounds like a lot of fun uh do you when when you do an aerobic set like that is are you are you doing butterfly or freestyle freestyle mainly freestyle yeah okay yeah i always do aerobic i always do freestyle then when it gets to do like the 25s so progression increases in the speed I did fly, and then at the end also a little bit of I am. Uh, yeah, mostly aerobic. I do freestyle. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. 
Um, so, and then just outside of this photo shoot, um, how have things been going for you? Have you, I know you've had at least one or two competitions, um, but we, we now know that world champs are set. So how is the, uh, how has the spring and the winter been for you just training wise and for your competitions? I mean, yeah, it will be, it's been pretty good. Uh, after Abu Dhabi, I took two weeks off. So I just, yeah. I, I went in a couple of days to Dubai, then I stayed at home with my family and celebrated with them. And then, yeah, I left for altitude training camp. Very good. It, it went very well. Uh, I need so much needed altitude training camp in some words. And then we had the first competition. Uh, I had only about three weeks of training, so I, we couldn't expect so much. And so for the time uh, being, it was okay. So it wasn't my best competi- my best competition, I'd uh, say, but uh, it, w- it was good for the time. And always the January competitions are, and you can't expect to see your PBs or season best as well. And uh, yeah, then we left for Lanzarote three weeks, very intense training camp. That was very intense. I, 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 so I, I, I ate a lot of fish as well. So uh, I'm proud of myself because I, I used to n- not eat a lot of fish. And, uh, so I ate good, but uh, yeah, we, we trained very hard and I think it was a very successful training camp. And then right after I came to Marseille to compete and Marseille was better than I, 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 than I expected which mean overall because Underfly 1516 right now is very good, I, I have to say. And also, yeah, I did 4 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> For AM, so twice for AM in, in one day long course, it was pretty challenging. So, uh, <laughs> at, at, so at the end of the day, it was pretty uh, dead. But yeah, and uh, then the two fly, I, w- I wish I would have been a bit faster, like 156, but okay, 157 is 157.1, it's, it's fine for now. And yeah, otherwise, I'm excited to see what's so what's coming we have uh, swiss champs in 10 days i'm not preparing them so just to see where i'm at also because this week i could train but not with my group and words the the first uh, big competition will be in words so yeah it's going to be fun to see where i'm at i don't know who's coming if everybody's coming or not because i'm seeing that some australians are saying no we're not on there so but yeah, and then the big competition will be also the European champs in, in Rome because it's very close to home. And yeah, otherwise, yeah, uh, you know, with, with also with the war, you, you don't know what to expect. And it's so it's sad that you know, human beings have to, yeah, so they haven't learned anything from the past. And that's, that's, uh, yeah because also I have some, uh, I know people, Ukrainian people, so that stream I used to do uh, with them, I did with them all the juniors, juniors championships, mm-hmm. like European juniors, uh, youth uh, Olympics, and also uh, Europeans awards, and Olympics as well. And uh, then I know also Russian, Russian athletes, uh, a lot of them, like for example, and yeah, so it's also for them, I don't know if it's if it's nice and everything. And, you know, uh, it's not a nice period, I think. So for them, more that for me. So I'm doing well, but I'm aware of the fact that. So <laughs> yeah, there there is a bit of tension. You know? Yeah, absolutely. I'm, yeah, I think, <clears throat> I think the whole swimming community kind of feels that tension and um, that uncertainty and Hopefully we can, you know, move forward and, ha- and have some championships this summer. Okay, yeah. there there was a lot to unpack there. You swam the 400 IM twice in one day. Uh, what'd you go in finals? I went one four twenty three, or twenty two twenty three, I think, or twenty two. I don't know. Okay. And but the fact is that I start I had to start pretty fast, so my coach wanted me to go fifty five, <laughs> and I went fifty five point two. 
and it was so easy. So it, it was probably the easiest kind of plugging in, in my life. The problem is that after, right after that, backstroke came and breaststroke, breaststroke. I was like, everybody, everybody was a person. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, I mean, it's good training. Uh, the last time I swam the 4 a.m. seriously was five years ago. Mm -hmm. So, you know, um, 4 a.m. is different than 2 a.m. Uh, I'm used to 2 a.m. 4 a.m. It's, it's quite, it's a quite hard race, I gotta say. I gotta yeah. say. Yeah. 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 So, um, you have Swiss champs coming up in 10 days, you said. Um, is that a qualification meet for you for Worlds or Euros? Actually, I'm already qualified with the Olympics. Uh, so, the, the whole group that went to the Olympics are this qualified for course and Europeans this summer were seven. And then, yeah, any additional athletes can can qualify at Swiss Champs. But yeah, I'm good. So it's gonna be a preparation meet. That's why we're not even preparing that. <laughs> yeah, I was a little surprised. I'm like, you're at a photo shoot and you got Swiss Champs 10 days away, but now, now it makes a little more sense. Um, yeah. so, so what are you swimming at that meet at Swiss Champs? Actually, I'm not sure, but I think it's gonna be 50, 100 to 200 fly. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if I'm gonna do the 2 free or 2 a.m or another 50 just for fun yeah so we we talked about it with my coaches last week but i already forgot everything so <laughs> perfect no so for sure i'm gonna do 50 hundreds and 50 and 20 fly mm -hmm. and probably also the hundred fly and then yeah maybe to try some new strategy because it's not gonna be in shape but maybe try to go to go on faster in the two fly or so so yeah we're gonna see okay all right and then last last thing uh you said you had a super hard three-week training camp where was that again lanzarote so in the canarias uh, island okay to, to... okay um was that was there a hardest session in that three-week span that you remember Ooh. Ooh. We're gonna think about it. Um, we actually did a lot of our sessions, like five or six. So half of the trainings were so once a day. It was hard, at least once a day. So mm -hmm. yeah, always the twelve fifties from the block were pretty hard, and uh, we did another one. Yeah, it was three times three one hundred and uh, one to three increasing. So decreasing the time, mm -hmm. and you uh, you had to start pretty fast actually. So mm -hmm. like, I was starting about fifty nine butterfly, mm -hmm. and then fifty six, okay, fifty five from the bottom, and then we would start uh, fifty three. I went the first one, yeah, and that was three times if I'm not mistaken, or two or three times. Yeah, I don't know, <laughs> but three one hundreds and. One, three, and that was pretty challenging. Uh, nice, I swam pretty, pretty well. I did also some, so um, under back, under breast, under, uh, under free, uh, and yeah, that was that was pretty nice. And also, yeah, another one is always the twelve fifties that we do uh, all out from the block. Mm -hmm. That's always pretty challenging because you. Give, you gotta go all out. So the first one I started in twenty three seven, twenty three six butterfly. butterfly. Okay, fifty, and then you get to the fourth one. You say, "Oh fuck, you got eight to go." <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, but I, I was able to swim all of them twenty four around twenty four, and mm -hmm. only two of them like twenty five zero, twenty five one. So it was pretty pretty good actually. Yeah. yeah. What what are those on? Um, we had to do 50, come back walking, and then we start again. So okay. two minutes, two minutes thirty. Gotcha. One. And yeah, I think I had like about 18, 19 back days after that. Or <laughs> wow. Um, well, Noad, I don't want to keep you too long. It's always great catching up with you. Thanks for sitting down and uh, giving okay. us the update. And I'm glad things are going well. Hopefully, we'll we'll talk to you soon.